Dude, where is this guy, man? He told me 9.20. It's freaking 10 o'clock. Oh. Maddie! Yo, Maddie! What the hell's wrong with you, oh, man? You are, <laughs> going on, I'm trying to get my beauty sleep over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it worked. Ah, uh, yep. Gave me a heart attack, though, for real. Dude, I love this rig you got here, bro. Sweet. Uh, thanks. So what up guys, we're here with Joshua Kelly for episode one of Sweet Spice. He's gonna be taking us around New Jersey and uh, showing all of his spots. How are you doing today? Great, man. Looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun. First yeah. ever episode of Sweet Spot Spot. I'm, I'm honored, man. Yep. Or Sweet Spot. I'm honored. <laughs> this is actually my old house right here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how they're gonna, I don't know the people that live there. Ooh. Just want that White House. No, actually, this one to the right. This is 101 Jackson Ave. And it wasn't this color at all. It was completely different. It was white. And for some reason, I grew up here since I was from five to 10 years old. And for some reason, it looked way bigger than it does right now. <laughs> it looks super tiny, but um, I was a big hockey player when I grew up here. I didn't even play golf. And now, as you guys saw, my club that I'm at is 30 seconds down the road. But I remember just skating up and down these uh, sidewalks here. And I'll, I'll bring you guys to the deli in a minute. It's called Mike's Deli. We should, anytime we had a dollar or two, we'd run down there and get a candy bar or something. But, yeah. um, you know, back in the day, my dad would buy me these rollerblades that had plastic wheels on them. And I remember I skated so much that the plastic would come off every like two weeks. For some reason, we just kept buying these plastic wheels. And one day, the plastic came off the one wheel and I took a knife and we went down to the basement. I'm like probably, I don't know, seven years old. Yeah. And I tried to cut the the uh, plastic off and the knife slips and goes like right through my <laughs> leg and I'll show you I, I have like a little scar here and like that night we put like some butterflies on it yeah. or something I never went and got stitches but we went to the hockey rink that night and I looked down my like just blood all over my leg oh, like how deep was it yeah it was it was probably pretty deep but um yeah so like I mentioned I grew up here from five to ten and I didn't put, start playing golf until I was 12 years old or I was like 11 or 12 years old so um, not much golf memories here, but definitely a lot of memories. There was a uh, two stairways on this house, one on this side and one on the other side. So at Christmas time, uh, I'm, I forgot to mention I'm one of ten kids, so okay. I have ten brothers and sisters. Damn. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So Christmas time was crazy. So we would line up on either side of the stairwell, five and five. And as soon as my dad and mom told us to come down, it was just like a mad rush down the stairwell, yeah. and like we all met just in the middle. It was great times. Um, so definitely a lot of good memories here. It looks completely different than it. Like I said, the color is different. It looks smaller. Obviously, everything looks bigger yeah. when you're a kid. But um, why don't we go down to Mike's Deli? I'll show you this little deli that, again, I thought was huge back in the day. We're probably gonna just be able to fit in there. So uh -huh. let's check that out. <laughs> So this used to be Mike's Deli, and now it's Northfield Deli. But they had like a little rack that ran up the middle. And I just remember coming here all the time. My dad gave me a dollar or something. I would run down here and get a candy bar. My sister tells me the story that she bought a candy bar one day and I stole it from her. Yeah. And it like breaks my heart. That, <laughs> that I, I don't know if I did or not. I can't no. confirm or deny that. But um, it's crazy to think my house, I can see my house and it's like only a few steps away. But back in the day, it felt like it took forever to get here. And, um, it's just cool to, I really haven't been back here since I was a kid, so it's really cool to see this place uh, for the first time, and like I said, it's, again, it just looks about a third of the size as it was. Um, yeah. That's a little deli that I used to go to, the bike path right here, what's cool about this neighborhood is the bike path that extends probably five miles that way and five miles this way, we used to ride our bikes, we had a couple friends that lived down there. And, uh, it was a really good neighborhood to grow up, grow up to. I, I was born in Northeast Philly when I was, but we moved here when I was five years old. So, and then from when I was ten years old, we moved to Galloway, which I grew up there. So, um, hey, how are you? Great. You know, we, we gotta get a candy bar for old times, right? What's your favorite candy bar? Twix. Mine fluctuates between uh, Twix and Snickers. Yeah, it depends on the Snickers has the so, nuts in it though. You don't, what, are you are allergic? No. Nuts? You just uh, don't like nuts? I like nuts, that's the Oh, you, okay. Yeah. I thought you meant That like doesn't quite sound right, but yeah, I like nuts. <laughs> are you a left or right Twix? For 
right, dude. I go with the left because a lot of people don't know this about me, but I'm actually left handed. So, um, yeah, let's get some candy bars. What's up, buddy? I used to come here all the time as a kid. So, John Charlie, nice to meet you. Uh, we used to buy candy bars here all the time, so I gotta buy a couple candy bars for all the time to see. Don't tell my mom I haven't eaten breakfast yet, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Good luck, buddy. How's it going? Appreciate it. Yeah, man, you ever buy any, you ever buy any pickles? Pickles? Yeah, I like those pickles. Yeah, I love those pickles, dude. That's so that good. So good. Man. You don't like pickles? No. Nah, oh, man. Either. Don't like All those gives you like a burning taste. Really? Pickles is like a... Dude, I put pickles... I don't mind pickles, pickles in everything. So it's in the sandwich, it's not that bad. So if you... <laughs> now, this is... This school right here, in this church, I haven't seen this in, like, years. So, I have no idea what to expect. Yo, Alabama. Yo. So my dad was from Alabama and my mom originally, and they moved to Philly for this church. Eventually, this church had another branch down here in Northfield, New Jersey, so they moved down here to be the head pastor. Now, what happened was my dad didn't agree with what they were preaching. Ooh. All right. You know what? I'm on the wrong road. Yeah, it's a dead end, so we can't. Let's go this way. That's weird. Maybe it's on the next shoot up. Yeah, so my dad didn't agree with everything that they were preaching, and so he uh, so he started his own church. So that's why we moved to Galloway, which is still running today. I actually play the drums every Sunday in church. My mom taught me to play the drums growing up. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah pull right up to the side. I don't see anybody here, so. Uh -huh. So this is a totally different, it's run by a different church now. So. Uh, All right, so this is the church and the school that I grew up on from like five to 10 years old. Funny story about this little pole here. My brothers were like shaking it one day and it ripped off and it landed on my dad's van. <laughs> so they obviously fixed that. Maybe took, the, the welding right here, maybe we, they- Who took the blame for that? <laughs> my bro, my, my uh, brother who takes the blame for everything, so. Um, but yeah, so it looks to me like they still have the same basketball scores as they did back when I was going to school here. Um, and I don't know, this, this place is, you know, it, there's a lot of memories here. It's, it's crazy because my dad was a pastor and we had three services on Sunday. So and we had to come to every single yeah. service as a kid. And, you know, that was brutal. And if we, did, if we acted up, then we didn't get any snacks. So. <laughs> crazy it brings back a lot of memories but it's pretty cool how they have the same basketball glove I mean, obviously they're new rims it looks like but as far as the backboard the poles are all the same uh, a lot of a lot of good games went down here a lot of four square perfect four square situations perfect uh basketball little goal for three on three or four on four and have to go out the gate get the ball and kind of goes out <laughs> yeah exactly and then there's a little side yard here where we play other things but like I said I mean I, I keep saying it but it's just crazy how much smaller it is than I remember. I haven't been here probably I don't know 20 years probably. I'm 30 30 years old now and I was last time I've been here probably 10 years old so 20 years. Great. But here it is. I mean it's not much it's not it's not much to look at but uh, a lot of memories here. Yeah, I didn't agree with it. No, it's run by somebody else now. Yeah. But yeah, so the church that he was pastoring at, he didn't agree with some of the stuff that they did. He was like, you know what? He studies the Bible. He's like, you know what? I don't, uh, I don't agree with some of the stuff. So I kind of respect that. Yeah, I let them know he didn't agree with it. Yeah. He tried to show them people, even they said no. Oh, they basically said kick them. I don't know. I don't think. You want to try it? See if it's open? I don't even know if it's open. I just don't know. Try it. See if it's open. But yeah, basically, they, 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 they
Maybe they kicked him out. They kicked him. Nah, I... Gotta get out. <laughs> So the crazy thing is, so this is my house here in Jackson Ave. Lancy Country Club was literally right there. a stone's throw from where I used to live. And I never played golf, and I didn't even ever notice that this was here. <laughs> so like, as a kid, to, to the fact that this kind of came full motion, and, or full circle, and now yeah. I'm back here, uh, you know, as a member here, and, and kind of doing all of my work here, um, is is uh, pretty incredible. I never, never thought that life would bring me right back to kind of where it all started. Just now realizing that this was this close, it's kind of crazy. What music you listen to? Every genre. Every yeah. genre, what's your, what's your my favorite? My favorite is hip hop and rap. Yeah, yeah. Drake Which... my, Drake's probably my favorite artist. Oh. <laughs> Uh, How but, man? Like, I mean, I, I, dude, I love. So I love. I mean, obviously, Tourist B.I.G. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. Love. I mean, obviously, they're legends. Eminem, big M, big M guy. Um, I don't know, man. You but, mentioned him like fourth. I'm not sure about that one. I mean, no. I mean, I. I, I you check out if you I want music say, to be murdered by. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. I, I, I've listened to that over a couple of times. But. Oh man. So you guys talked about sweet spot. This golf course is my sweet spot. I could be here if my wife let me 14 hours a day every day of my life. But we're gonna come down here to the uh, stone. So this golf course with all the history, the term birdie and eagle actually came from this golf course. So you know that was one of the biggest first contributions that America had to the game of golf was the term birdie and, and eagle. So it's pretty cool that, you know, everything else kind of came from Scotland and, you know, golf and golf in general. Yeah, exactly. So, and then but what, so what happened was, so this whole, this green right here is now the practice green. This was the green where the term birdie was originated in 1903. So, Back in the day, um, if you wanted to say something good, you would say that's a bird. Like if a girl looked good, you'd be like, that's a bird of a girl. Or like if a car, well, they didn't really have cars, I guess. But you know, if anything was good, they'd say that's a bird of, of whatever. And so somebody, I forget who it was, but hit a shot here to a couple of feet. And they're like, wow, that's a bird of a shot. And that just turned into birdie. And, and eventually, because something was even better than that, it turned into eagle. So, uh, 1903, right here on this hole, was the the term was coined here. So, um, pretty cool. <laughs>